you know, we black people really got to do better when we pick our heroes. Deontay Wilder, people are telling me, suddenly has some kind of um, big standing now. His stock is shot up in the black community. All of a sudden, I'm guessing because of this rant on Radio Raheem. You see, Deontay Wilder has been around for years. Years. And nobody took notice of him. If his stock sh suddenly shot up, it's because it shot up off the back of a white man in Tyson Fury. And let me let you all know, I'm a black man. You understand? I'm not a black British. I'm not a black American. I'm a black Caribbean man. But all of my programming pretty much comes from America. So I was exposed to Deontay Wilder long before. But you see, our people have a way where we just like to hear the big, angry nonsense sometimes. Deontay Wilder, if his stock has somehow shot up in the black community, it really means that our people really, really are struggling for leaders or for voices that represent us. Deontay Wilder don't give a hell about black people. Deontay Wilder, all he has ever said has been things that pertain to him and his own insecurities. And let me tell you what I mean. I can't say everything right now because it's a short video, but let's, let me give you some examples. Deontay Wilder built his profile off of another black man, Anthony Joshua. You see, Anthony Joshua is not black American, and I realize there's some black Americans, and I say some, there's some black Americans who somehow don't consider Anthony Joshua to be black. Because you see, Anthony Joshua doesn't act up in these nonsense ways. He doesn't walk around angry. He doesn't put on a fake persona. The man who he is who he is, not a social media junkie, not an attention whore, doesn't walk around with a bunch of um, um, bad, um, bad intent for people. You never heard Anthony Joshua say no shit like he wants to let another black man, he wants to let another black man's son watch as he cripples that black man in the ring. You have never heard Anthony Joshua say no shit like, um, I want to have a body on my record. And people think, oh, this is just him trying to build a persona. That ain't no way to build a persona. And as a black man, I don't I, he don't represent me. Absolute nonsense. Deontay Wilder talks about if he was a white heavyweight, he would be loved. When the fuck was the last time that there was any great white heavyweight in America? They've all been black men. But Deontay Wilder, is so insecure that he's talking about black and white when that has nothing to do with it. That his lack of exposure is because he's been a piss poor heavyweight. That's why. Deontay Wilder is somebody who says UK people don't like him because he's a dark skinned black man. Except the most famous black man in, in the UK. Boxers have been all dark-skinned. You see, he makes these colorist statements a lot. And I say colorist because in the black community, we have this ongoing issue that was left by colonialism of light skin, dark skin. And he's trying to play on people's emotions. I don't know what happened to him in his life. But if Deontay Wilder wants to be some kind of big voice for the black community, he has to get over those insecurities. He's hating on another black man in Anthony Joshua. They wanted Anthony Joshua to come to, the, to America so bad so they could rob him so he could take what Anthony Joshua has. Built all the risks that Anthony Joshua took. All the, all the, 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 the effort the man made to perfect his craft. That's what he was hoping Anthony Joshua would do. Off of another black man. Look at how he treated Dillian White. Another black man froze out the man for like what a year now 
I ye- froze him out for a year now. Dillian White exposed the man and says, Deontay Wilder said he would freeze me out if he doesn't get an AJ shot. Look it up. The video's on the zone. Dillian White, another black man, dark skinned black man, extremely popular in the UK. You see, Deontay Wilder ain't no representative for black people. Deontay Wilder can't represent black people because you see me as a black man, I expect the best from black people. I expect them to conduct themselves in the best manner possible. I expect them not to say they want to cripple other black men in the ring. Not play the race card and use the race card for your own failures, your own underachieving. Nobody blocked you. And if you want to know somebody who blocked you, maybe you need to look at the all them white men in your team. Lou DiBella, who didn't market you. Shelly Finkel, who's trying to use, uh, tr- trying to use you to, to um, siphon off the popularity of another black man. Jay Diaz, who can't teach you shit. All those white men in your pocket, making you fight almost 40 fights for next to no money. Those are your decisions, Deontay. Those are your decisions. You ain't no voice for black people. And black people, whoever they are, who suddenly feel like Deontay Wilder is about something, y'all really gotta grow the fuck up. Peace.